So today I have a new location for filming um, and uh, a little bit of a scramble to get here. It's quite rocky, um, kind of the middle of nowhere, although it's not that far from civilization, but there are no paths leading here. Um, anyway, I wanted to continue my thoughts a little bit about Islam. I uh, was reminded of uh, something Sam Harris said uh, some years ago and it uh, was where he described Islam as being the mother load of bad ideas and uh, that sort of got me thinking um, I would say that Islam as a religion or ideology however you want to describe it uh, contains many bad ideas, but also good ones. Um, and it's a case of, you know, if you're trying to figure out the best way forward, um, you kind of need to cherry pick. And cherry picking is usually seen as something to be avoided. Um, but then that is specifically when it uh, relates to trying to find out the truth or figure something out um, but I think cherry picking as a way of navigating through a complicated situation looking for the best way forward is kind of kind of relevant I also heard Elon Musk uh, recently describing um, the woke ideology as a mind virus and that was particularly relating to uh, his one of his children uh, going through a, a gender uh, reassignment uh, thing which seems to be gaining popularity these days um, and it's an unusual it's a, a sort of unlikely alliance you know the the woke ideology which is kind of at the heart of the institutions and even governments these days um, and certainly it's, uh, it's it's manifests in the corporate world um, you know in terms of political correctness and and so on um, a lot of that I I do not have much time for that sort of thing my tolerance levels are fairly low I guess I'm old-fashioned that way um, but the, it is unusual. Part of this sort of woke thing is um, you are not allowed to criticize Islam um, in the same way that you could, uh, you know, Judaism, you could criticize Judaism and Christianity. Um, and I guess Hinduism and Buddhism as well. Although you don't hear so much criticism of the other, these other religions, but uh, it's, it's an interesting and sort of uncanny alliance because if the uh, woke and the fundamentalist Islam proponents had their way, there's no two, there's no way those two ideologies could coexist. Um, well, at least. If the if the Islam gained the upper hand, um, you know they would have very little time for uh, homosexuality and gender reassignment and all of these things. Um, I mean that's a whole other subject. Um, you know the question of whether it's morally right to allow young children to have irreversible surgery done to them, which could mean that the option of having children is taken out of their lives forever. Um, anyway, that's a that's a whole other can of worms. Um, but uh, in addition to that, I wanted to say something about the um, rape gangs. There have been many of them in this country, particularly in places like Rotherham, many, many, many towns um, in England where there's a high Muslim population. Um, and how that went 
more or less under the radar for many years. People were uh, singling it out and trying to you know, say, hey, look here, there's a problem. But uh, generally, the people who were doing that were getting into a whole lot of trouble and the people who were perpetrating these crimes were, uh, to a large degree, getting away with it. Um, and that sort of harkens back also to the um, the idea that men, young men with hormones in their system, are incapable of uh, controlling their hormonal urges, um, which is a very patronising thing. And uh, I don't really like the word empowering, but it is kind of empowering to know that you have the, you know, the ability to, you know, in cause a lot of harm to others, but because of your moral sense, um, your moral compass, I guess, um, you withhold those urges and you regard common sense and common decency as positive virtues to be strived towards. And I think most people naturally do um, see those things, you know, acts of selflessness and self-sacrifice. People, you know, across cultures regard those as uh, something worth aspiring to. Anyhow, um, I will share more thoughts, no doubt, as they occur to me. And um, it's interesting, the, the video I made the other day um, has not gained much much traction. None of my videos do, but that's um, because there are a lot of keywords in there that I would have thought would, um, you know, be triggering, another word I don't particularly like, um, but that would uh, cause people to become irate because somebody's dared to speak these things, but it almost feels like I'm sort of speaking into the void in a way that encourages me to just say what I think. What the hell? Um, but uh, I will certainly share more thoughts um, as and when. So thanks for uh, hearing me out and uh, see you next time.